Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Homescapes. So if you are new here, then do consider subscribing to my channel if you are interested in plant care related videos. So today's video is going to be a plant care video on this beautiful plant over here. So this plant is Mexican Petunia. It is also known as Ruelia. So Mexican Petunias, they are perennial flowering plants and I have three shades of these. I have a purple, a white and a pink shade. Now these Mexican Petunias, they are great plants for the summer season because these plants, they don't mind the summer heat. These plants produce these medium sized trumpet shaped flowers and these they produce blooms throughout the year except during heavy monsoon. So moving on to the basic requirements for growing this plant. So first choosing a pot. So you can grow these Mexican petunias in pots as small as 4 inches or you can grow them in big big containers as well. Also note that the pot need not be too deep because these are shallow plants and these are quite short heighted. These are sun loving plants so make sure you plant these in a location which receives full sunlight or at least half a day of sunlight. If you plant these plants in shady areas then these plants they will grow leggy and they will hardly produce any flowers. As far as the soil mixture is concerned, these plants they tolerate any kind of soil except for heavy clay based soils. So make sure you don't plant these in heavy clay based soils. Water these plants every day or whenever you see the top layer of soil is drying off. These are very hardy plants and they will resist even the heaviest of rains. So you don't need to worry too much about how to save these plants during the rainy season. Next moving on to how to propagate this plant. So these tiny structures that you see here, these are immature seed pods of these plant. Once they are mature, they turn to this dark brown color. Also once these seed pods are mature, they split open and they scatter the seeds all around. As you can see, there are numerous baby plants of these Mexican petunias growing in other pots of my garden. So let me split open a seed pot and show you. So these tiny brown things are the seeds of this plant and you just have to spread them on moist soil and they'll start growing in a few weeks. So all the lush green plants that you see here, they are babies of Mexican petunias, all have been grown from seeds. And among them here is a baby pink and white colored dianthus. And some of the Mexican petunia seeds must have scattered onto the ground and this is very randomly growing Mexican petunia plant growing from in between the interlock blocks. All these Mexican petunia plants over here on the other side they have been grown from cuttings. So if you see carefully the stems of these Mexican petunias they have numerous nodes in them. So you don't have to do much you can just take cuttings as small as 1 or 1.5 one inches and you just have to stick them in moist soil and they will start growing in a few days time. And as far as pests are concerned so mealybugs and ants are the only two pests that I have seen attacking these Mexican petunia plants. So all you have to do to get rid of them is spray some mixture of neem oil and soap water and it will get rid of them. So that's all as far as the care of Mexican petunias are concerned. So this bulbul over here, there is another garden update for you guys. So another pair of bulbul birds have been making their nest in one of my juniper trees. This is on the other side of the garden. So there are going to be three more babies. to see this so there was a very big spider web in my rangoon creeper plant and this bulbul ate the spider so i feel sorry for the spider but yeah as you can see my loropetalum plant is blooming and it looks very very pink and nice and yeah my rangoon creeper is going to be in full bloom in a few weeks time so i will make a video on how to care for rangoon creeper plant so stay tuned for that video till then stay safe and happy bye guys and yes i wanted to show you the nest of this bulbul so here it is